In today's video, we're talking about color accuracy. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to get accurate colors in your photograph using a calibration tool such as this one here, uh, which we'll get to in a second. But first, we need to talk about uh, why and when you need to make sure that your colors are accurate. Okay, so let's start off by saying that most of the time, you're not going to have to worry about the accuracy of the colors. Most of the time, we're actually changing the look of the photograph uh, to try and go for, for a certain look, a certain mood. And by doing that, when we change the contrast, when we change the white balance, we're actually changing the look of the colors, the feel of the colors. And we may be uh, moving away from what that color actually looks like. And most of the time that's not gonna matter because you are going for a look rather than accuracy. Now for the majority of the shoots that I produce, this isn't really a consideration because you're deliberately trying to change the color. You're changing the mood, you're changing the feel, the color temperature. It's that whole treatment that is part of your editing that the customer is asking of you. So most of the time, this isn't really going to matter. Now, where it does matter is in catalog work. And that's because it is a consideration point when someone is making a purchasing decision. If you are looking at a garment on the internet, then the color is actually really important to you. So you want to make sure that the photograph reflects what the actual product looks like. And it's in those instances that you need to use something such as this, uh, which is a calibration tool in order to be able to ensure that the colors are correct. Now, the one that I use is the X-Ray Color Checker Passport. I like this one because it comes in its little protective case and it actually has two halves to it. Uh, the first half is a gray card. This is a very accurate gray card. And then on the other side, you've got your little uh, blocks of um, colors. And that's what I use in order to create a profile uh, that I'm going to take you through the whole process in a second. The reason I like the Color Checker Passport is that it comes in its little case because you've got to be really careful with these colors. You don't want them fading or you don't want to scratch them or, or smudge them with something and get them dirty because the, uh, they need to maintain the color that it came out when it was out of the factory, basically. So those colors cannot change because the software it's expecting to look for a particular color and it will modify uh, the photograph according to what it sees in here. So basically it will tune, you take a picture of this, which I'll show you in a second, but essentially you take a picture of this and then you put it up in Lightroom and then the software will look at what it's captured and it already knows what this is, what this looks like. So what it does is it modifies the image in order to reflect the colors as it knows um, how they should look. And, uh, and so builds a color profile that you can then apply for the, to the rest of your photograph. But we'll go through that in a second. But that is the reason why I like this one. Um, these are not, they're not super cheap, um, but they're a really good investment if you're doing catalog work because obviously you want the photograph to reflect the actual color of the, the product. Um, but if you want to know more about this, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, and what we should do now is I've got a setting here where I'm going to take a, a photograph of a playing card because it's nice and colorful. And then we are going to then uh, see what Lightroom gives us. And then we are going to create a profile using this tool. And then we're going to apply it and we're going to see what the difference is. Now, before we jump into Lightroom and I show you how this works, if I could ask you that if you're enjoying this video, would you mind please hitting the like button? That is probably the best way that you can support me. Uh, it shows me that I'm making the kind of videos that you enjoy watching, and it also helps me with the rankings and the channel overall. So if you like this video and you'd like to support me, if you could hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. And also, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it, consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos like this every week to help you with your photography. So if you don't want to miss any of those, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's jump into Lightroom now and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom and let me just show you uh, what we've got going on at the moment. By the way, this is Lightroom Classic. I don't believe that you can do this just yet uh, with Lightroom CC because I think that the um, with this particular product, I don't think that they've launched support for it just yet. It, there may be support by the time you're watching this video, but I think at this point it doesn't, uh, they don't have the utility available just yet. So um, the the profile, it, the, the software itself is something that you just simply install um, and it will update as a uh, plugin into Lightroom. 
And how this works is, these are the photographs, by the way, that we're going to be, we're just going to use one of these, probably just this one here, because it's easier to see. This is the one that we're going to color correct, okay? Uh, and as you can see, it's got some nice reds and yellows and blues, so it's going to be very obvious in here when we, when we correct the colors. Um, now, the idea with, uh, with correcting your colors is that you, at some point during the shoot, you need to take a photograph of the color checker passport. It doesn't have to be um, next to the product like I've got here or here. Okay, uh, you just base. You just need to have the color checker passport in the same light as what you were shooting the product in. It's just easier to put it next to, next to the product, and, and you know that you've got the correct lighting setting and so forth. You want to make sure that the color checker passport is facing uh, the camera straight on. So in this photograph here, for example, where it's on the left-hand side, um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I've actually swapped them around. Um, this one here and this one here, you see that the color checker passport uh, swabs are on this side, and here you've got the white balance ones, and then here you've got them the other way around. But as you can see here, it's at an angle to the camera, so this typically will not work. Uh, what the camera or what the application is looking for is uh, these little marks outside of the color uh, swatches, okay? So there's, uh, there's four of them at each corner, and it's looking for these four little things, and then it's looking for the colors in between. And it has to be a, a sort of a rectangle. And in here, it, it's not, um, let me go back to the other picture. In here, it's not, some, it, it's sort of uh, skewed, if you like. So that is a no-no, and typically that's going to fail. So just uh, heads up. Now, this is what it should look like when you are cre uh, creating a profile uh, in order to correct the colors. So we've got a, uh, a good photograph in here, and okay, and this is going to be a, uh, our source image to create the profile. Now, creating a profile is super easy. First of all, let me show you where the profiles are. If you jump into the develop module, you're going to see over here on the right hand side profile if you double or if you uh, click on that once you're going to get all these different options and when you change these for example have a look what happens to the colors in here uh, or on the card but it's going to be more obvious in here uh, typically on the blues so let me at the moment it's uh, adobe color let me go to uh, adobe standard and you're going to see that the image would have been a little bit muted okay let me change let me pick a different one this is portrait uh, this is landscape Okay, you can see it between landscape and standard. Okay, you can see the colors, the different colors. Let me just uh, zoom in here. That's vivid. That's portrait. And then it goes to vivid again. Okay, so it does change the colors a little bit, but we're going to change them uh, exactly. Uh, ex they're going to be exactly right. So in order to do that, we've got our photograph in here where... Uh, we uh, got our color checker password. It is properly exposed. Again, that is that is important to do that. Uh, you don't want any of this black or white to be picking. Um, and uh, so what we do here is we go up to the file menu and we are going to go to uh, export with presets. And you're going to have a different uh, list to me in here. I've got a lot of presets in, in, in my computer, but we're going to go down to color checker passport. And when we do that, it's going to prompt us for a name. So what I like to do is I will say uh, this was shot with a 5D Mark IV. So I will, I will label this as 5D4. And then I will say uh, this was shot with the 85mm uh, September 2021. It needs to be something descriptive. Um, but don't make it super long, uh, but descriptive is very useful. So I'm going to click on save now, and uh, this is going to go, you can see on the top left-hand corner, it's it's working on it, it says processing profile, and when it finishes, it's going to give me a success message, and it's going to ask me to restart Lightroom. Okay, so uh, it will not work if you don't start Lightroom, as you can see in here, the profile has been gener generated successfully, Lightroom must be restarted to activate the profile. So we are going to now uh, close Lightroom, okay, and we are going to reopen it again. Okay, and it's back. Now, uh, we are going to go to the image. Uh, let's actually stick to this image because it's going to be easy, easier to see. So we are in the develop module, and we are going to go back into this profile menu here, and 
the thing is you can't see the one that we created and it will not display at this point. You have to go down to browse and when you go into browse, you're going to get a more, um, uh, a bigger selection of profiles. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different profiles uh, here. And as you can see that as I'm moving around and selecting different ones, uh, it just changes the look of the of the photograph. Then these are not presets, but you can sort of think of them, if you like, the behavior mimics uh, that of a preset, but they're not presets, they're actually profiles. Now, your profile that you created is going to be under this profiles tab. You can see that there, if it's not uh, expanded, just click on the triangle to expand it. And you can see there is the one that we've created. So I'm going to select that, okay? And now it has changed the colors, but we're gonna have a look at the comparison in a second. In order to do that, let's create a snapshot, okay? And this one we're gonna call it uh, color checker. And create that so you can see on the left-hand side here, we've got a color checker snapshot. And then we are going to go to the standard, let's call it the, uh, let's call it the standard profile. And we are going to create another snapshot here. And we're going to call that Adobe Standard. Okay, so we've got two snapshots and we can switch back and forth between the two. So have a look at what happens to the colors in here. So this is what Adobe thinks the photograph should look like. And according to our color checker passport, this is what it should look like. Now have a look at it, particularly around the blues. You can see the difference that it makes. So it, we're not talking about brightness. We're not talking about contrast. We're talking about a completely different color. Let's have a look at uh, these blues here. Let's zoom in. So this is the color checker passport. That is the standard Adobe profile. Okay, color checker passport, standard profile. So we've got a much more accurate, I mean, I can tell you personally, having the color checker passport next to me that this is actually what it looks like. It doesn't look like this. That blue is much more vivid as, uh, as you can see in here. So now that we've created our profile that you can see over here, because the light that we used and the lens and the camera and everything was exactly the same. When we took this photograph, we can apply the profile to this particular photo to then correct the, pro the colors on this photograph. Let's have a look at this. Let's switch over to um, our profile that we created. And there it is. Let's do the same thing as before. Let's do another snapshot so we can see the difference. Again, we're going to create this and we're going to call it um, color checker and then we are going to go and be close there we're going to go to the standard profile we're going to create another snapshot and we're going to go and call this adobe standard okay let's have a look as i switch between these two if you can see the difference now you may not be able to see it on the video so let me just zoom in here and see if that's a little bit more obvious so that is Color checker passport, Adobe standard. Color checker passport, Adobe standard. Have a look at the reds in particular, okay? They're a lot more vivid. And again, uh, because I've got the card here next to me, I can tell you that this is actually what the card looks like. This is a muted version of uh, the card, but it's a pretty good uh, rec recreation of the photograph, but it's not accurate. And, um, and when you're trying to get accurate colors because like I said, in on, on things such as catalog shots, they need to be correct. Uh, then this tool becomes uh, absolutely it's it's a lifesaver. So it just it it saves you so much time rather than have to go in there and manually change every single photograph. This does it all for you. Now, uh, a couple of things to uh, to note is that when um, when you change lighting, uh, you need to do this again. So this will only uh, this will only calibrate to this particular. Uh, lighting setup that you've got here um, and I change it with every lens in fact because every lens renders colors a little bit differently and so if I change lenses I take another shot uh, with the uh, with the with the, the color passport with that particular uh, lens if I change cameras I do the same thing if I change colors I do the same thing and so forth you just need to have a reference uh, that has the camera the lighting and the lens that you're using uh, and you should be able to get absolutely spot on colors every single time.
So that's it. As you can see, the process for getting accurate colors is not that difficult when you use a product such as this one. So if you want to know more about this one, again, there'll be a link in the description so you can just click on that. So that's it. It's really pretty easy. But if you do have any questions or you need me to expand on anything, uh, the best place to get in touch with me is probably the comment section below. Just, so just leave me a comment in there or a question. And I'll be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, you can reach out on any of the usual social media platforms. You're going to find links in the description below to all of those as well. And guys, don't forget to check out ministryofphoto.com. That's where you're going to find links to all of my videos. Uh, there's tutorials, there's reviews in there. Uh, there's even some freebies like uh, Lightroom presets, that sort of thing. So if you want to check it out, it's completely free. That's ministryofphoto.com. So guys, that's everything for this video. Again, please don't forget to click the like button. I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Say yes.